humidity and precipitation. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. When the humidity is high, it means there is a lot of water vapor in the air. The air feels sticky and we sweat a lot. When the humidity is low, it means there is hardly any water vapor in the air. The air feels dry and our skin and lips start cracking. Air near seas or oceans has more vapor in it. So these places are more humid than places that are away from the sea. Rainfall also depends on humidity. Humidity is measured using a dry and wet bulb hygrometer. How does water vapor come into the air? The sun shines on the water bodies like lakes, rivers and oceans. This makes some of the water turn into vapor and enter the air. This is known as evaporation. We see evaporation happening all the time when our wet floor dries up, when our wet clothes dry, etc. There is a limit to how much water vapor the air can hold at a certain temperature. Once the limit is crossed, the air cannot hold any more vapor. So, some of the water vapor turns back into liquid water. This is known as condensation. It is the opposite of evaporation. We see condensation happening on glasses of cold water, on bathroom mirrors, etc. What happens to the water vapor in the air? Some of it gathers around dust particles. When this happens, we get small droplets of water. Many small droplets of water come together to form clouds. Sometimes clouds form near the surface of the earth. Such a cloud is known as fog. Winds blow the clouds from one place to another. The clouds collect more and more vapor as they go along. Finally, they become too heavy to hold it all. So, some of the water falls back to the earth. This is known as precipitation. Rain is the most common form of precipitation. It is measured in millimeters using a rain gauge. It is kept in the open and allowed to collect rainfall. You can make one at home too and measure rainfall yourself. Snow falls when water vapor cools so quickly that it turns directly into solid. It does not pass through the liquid state. That is why snow is light and fluffy. Sleet is a mixture of snow and rain and raindrops that freeze on the way down to the earth. The raindrops pass through the liquid state before freezing. That is why sleet is not light and fluffy like snow. It's more like ice. Freezing rain happens when water droplets become super chilled. The raindrops fall to the earth in liquid state. They freeze as soon as they touch objects. Hail is precipitation in the form of round, hard lumps of ice. The process of hail formation is quite different from the other forms of precipitation. The raindrops start falling to the earth. The wind then pushes them up and they become cooler and turn to ice. This happens over and over and the hailstone gets bigger. When the hailstone gets bigger, it becomes heavier. It then falls out of the cloud to the earth. It may even fall if the wind in the cloud stops blowing. If you cut open a hailstone in half, you will see that it has many layers. The white part is the water that has frozen very quickly. 
The clear part is the water that has frozen slowly. You can make out how many times the hailstone must have gone up and down in the cloud.